kinetic energy T is nothing but half m omega square, then you will have a square minus x square, right? Or in terms of in terms of cosine function, it will become a square cos square omega t. And you will have potential energy that is half m omega square a square sine square omega t. Okay. Now you know that if you take that, draw that diagram, this is the mean position. Suppose your oscillator makes journey from mean position and for different different time, the oscillator is at different different position. And you can clearly see the kinetic energy and potential energy function of time. So let us assume at time t on, the oscillator is at this place. After some, uh, some time t equals to t2, it will be somewhere here. So what I'm trying to say at every point, you'll have different different time. Oscillator will be at different different time. And at different different time, oscillator will have different different kinetic energy as well as different different potential energy. Now, if you calculate the time average of kinetic energy and potential energy, then uh, how will calculate this? So what I'm trying to say that time average of your kinetic energy, so T average. So kinetic energy, average kinetic energy for a complete cycle will be, how will uh, write this? Zero to capital T t dt and you have 0 to t dt. So what I'm doing because you know that at different different time your kinetic energy is different because it's a function of time. So I'm calculating that average value of kinetic energy okay for on complete cycle. Now if you substitute this value you know t. So if you substitute it so it will be half m omega square a square 0 to t cos square omega t right omega t dt and this will give you 0 to t dt that will provide you only capital t right is not it now if you simplify it you will get half m omega square a square divided by capital T 0 to T cos square omega T means I can write 1 plus cos of 2 omega T dt divided by 2 because cos square theta is nothing but 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 right is this part clear to all so now if you calculate it average Kinetic energy T average will become 1 by 4 m omega square a square divided by T. Now, can you please tell me what will be the, uh, uh, the integration? Now I have to do integration, right? So 0 to, now I'll write direct integration value. So the integration of one will be simply t and you have second that will be cos of twice omega t. Its integration will become sine of twice omega t divided by two omega, right? Then you have to substitute that limit zero to capital T. Now this first term, this is, uh, this is t, right? So this will uh, give you, first term will give you only capital T because lower limit will provide you zero. So first term will give you only capital T. Now what about second term? What about second term? Anyone? Sir, zero. Exactly, it will be zero because why see, you see you have to substitute that in place of small t you have to substitute capital T, right? So if you substitute capital T and what about omega? Omega is two pi by capital T, right? Because you know 
t is hot uh, sorry t equals to 2 pi by omega so in place of omega if you substitute omega equals to 2 pi by capital t if you substitute this value in place of omega okay now if you substitute that limit in uh, in place of small t if you substitute that limit so this function when you substitute upper limit it will become sin of 4 pi and sin of 4 pi will be zero and for lower limit obviously it will be zero because sin of zero will be zero so from this contribution uh, from this integration you will basically simply get uh, you will basically get capital t right is this part clear to all yes sir. Part? okay now your average value so this capital t will be cancelled simply you will get 1 by 4 m omega square a square and these things is obvious no need to calculate actually whenever you will deal with cos, cos square so average value of cos square function is always what how much for on complete cycle hmm. anyone no for on complete cycle average value of cos square theta and sin square theta this what i what i am trying to say this value so this is the average value of cos square theta for on complete cycle so please be remembered uh, this will be helpful for any competitive exam average value of cos, cos square theta or cos square function or sin, sin square function also this will always be half okay you can note it note down also what i'm trying to trying to say you the average value of cos square theta or sin square theta for on complete cycle will always be half now i'll ask you what will be the average value of cos theta or sin theta for on complete cycle half hmm? no for cos square theta sin square theta it is obvious that is half just i have calculated i am asking cos theta or sin theta how much it will be 1 by 4 why it will be n by 4 because you see for on complete cycle you can uh, no need to do this you see this is on complete cycle if you take average this is your area under the curve this will be positive this will be negative and this area will be equal so obviously it will be zero no because you are taking average right so this side how much value you will get you will uh, because this is on complete cycle right so how much positive value you will get from this half cycle exactly same you will get from this half cycle so result n will be cancelled and same thing you can check for cos cosine function also because this is all about a sine function is this part clear because these things will really be helpful when you will deal with quantum mechanics problem or mathematical problem so that's why i'm trying to say something about you okay sir sir average value of cos square and sin square function will be one by two right yes it will be one by two just i have proven right i have calculated this value what i'm saying this is the average average value zero to two cos square t dt divided by dt this is the average value of cos any function theek hai na matlab average value of function kaise likhte hai zero to two this that function dt divided by zero to uh, t dt Yes, now yes, what about sir. your uh, potential energy now so what about, uh, what about the uh, average value of potential energy sir so same, same same uh, so i am not calculating it you can calculate it okay uh, because uh, just I told you the average value of sin square theta or cos square theta that will be 1 by 2. So that's why you will get 1 by 4 m omega square then a square. So average value of total energy now will become how much? It will be T average plus V average. So if you calculate, you will get 1 by 2 m omega square a square okay is this part clear 
yes sir okay now what about this is uh, all about your time average now i'll give you homework please do it okay so what about that space average of your potential energy and kinetic energy so if you remember uh, what have i uh, what have done the time average of kinetic energy is exactly same as time average of your potential energy now my question is what about space average space average of potential energy v p and total energy Space average is why I am calculating space average because at different different place point the potential energy is different. Sir, what is the mean of space? That's what I am saying. Space means uh, suppose your oscillator. This is your mean position at this x equals to x one. This is one place uh, space uh, on point. At this point, the potential energy is something. When the oscillator is at x equals to x two. the potential energy uh, potential energy is something right because it's a function of x half sir, m over x ha huh? over x matlab position ke sir usme nikalni hai ha position ke sath nikalna hai kyunki potential energy kinetic energy is a function of x right half m omega square x square this is your all about your potential energy so it's a function of x now if you calculate that average value or space average of potential energy for on complete cycle and same thing if you calculate the kinetic energy of oscillator for on complete cycle then how will right i'll give that uh, a formula you just do it okay and this is your homework you have to do yourself so this is minus your uh, let us uh, take that amplitude so this uh, limit will be minus a2 plus a right because this a is your amplitude so minus Sir, a upon सर काइनेटिक एनर्जी वन अपॉन थ्री एम ओमेगा स्क्वायर ए क्यू नहीं आप कैलकुलेट करना ठीक है सो वी डी एक्स डिवाइड बाई माइनस ए टू ए सो टूमोरो आई लास्ट यू ओके प्लीज डू इट सो दिस इज स्पेस एवरेज वी डी एक्स माइनस ए टू एर ए इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ मोशन सो एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला Minus a to a v dx divided by minus a to a dx. So if you calculate it, you will basically get. So he said already how much it is on by six m omega square a square. And if you calculate that potential, uh, sorry, kinetic energy average, space average, you will get minus a to a t dx divided by minus a to a dx. So if you calculate it. How much will get? One by three m omega square a square. ठीक है? ये कर लोगे आप लोग? Just यहाँ पे substitute क्या करनी है आपको? Yes sir. Yes. Half m omega square x square. यहाँ पे क्या substitute करनी है? Half m omega square a square minus x square. Then if you have to uh, do that integration with respect to x right so you can clearly see that when you are doing space average your kinetic energy or space average of kinetic energy is twice of potential energy you see 1 by 3 a m omega square a square here you have 1 by 6 a m omega square a square so from here you can see uh t average actually two times v average right when you are doing Uh, space average, but when you are doing time average, they are same. And I must say you that uh, when you are doing that space average, it is basically violating Virial theorem. Do you rem remember Virial theorem? Anyone? Anyone remember Virial theorem? So you know, uh, suppose V is a function of r k power n. Then you used to write this thing is really important for your competitive exam. आपको ये याद होना चाहिए. अगर suppose मान लो v as a function of r की power n, where r is the position vector, n is the integer, then the average value of kinetic energy will be 
एन बाई टू टाइम्स एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड यू रिमेम्बर फॉर ऑसिलेटर वी इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू आर इज पोजिशन हेयर एक्स की पावर एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स इज ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटिंग पोजिशन पावर एन एन इज हाउ मच टू हेयर सो इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट एन इक्व टू टू हेयर यू विल गेट एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ काइंटिक एनर्जी इक्व टू टू बाई टू इन टू एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इट मीन्स when you are doing time uh, time average of kinetic energy and potential energy it is basically satisfying the virial theorem but when you are doing uh, stress average it will not satisfy virial theorem why because virial theorem is all about the time average of uh, kinetic energy and potential energy so it not deals with uh, the stress average this is but clear and what i am trying to say you have to remember this virial theorem this is really important for your competitive exam really important is this part clear yes so sir ye ye wala theorem samajh nahi aaya ye theorem basically classical mechanics mein atul sir padhayenge hai na atul sir ka part hai just maine aapko bataya virial theorem ka pura derivation hai hai na एक लंबा क्लास लगेगा मेरा टॉपिक नहीं है अतुल सर पढ़ाएंगे आपको ठीक है जस्ट मैंने जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है थ्योरम थ्योरम के थियोरम के अकॉर्डिंग वो मैंने बताया आपको ठीक है दिस विल टीच यू अतुल सर दिस थिंग थिंगल थियोरम आप लोगों को पढ़ा नहीं अभी सही राइट क्लासिकल में ओके इफ यू है फर्दर डाउट यू कैन आस्क मी आफ्टर द क्लास ओके बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट माई टॉपिक आई विल डिस्कस दिस थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट Uh, beyond that class okay shall i erase now yes sir sabko samajh mein aa raha hai class mein yes sir आप लोगों को समझ में